And I thought you ran the ball great today, really hard, fighting for extra yardage. Can you tell me what your mindset and the team's mindset was coming in tonight? Yeah, we just watched a ton of film on these guys all week. We knew exactly what their game plan was, and defense, you could see it, knew every single play we were going to run. Sam in the line was great, opened up holes for me. Reason why I was getting some big gains out of those runs. Yeah. Did you feel like you were wearing them down, like by you, I mean like the collective you, like kind of leaning on them a little bit, and they would have these long drives and get nothing out of it, you would get the ball and just boom, 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 score? Yeah, I would say so. Like, they had a tough time stopping our offense, and they just gave up towards the end, I feel like. Chris, I, I obviously have to ask you about that play. Uh, it's nothing you can plan for, it's nothing I'm sure you could even dream about, but, but take me through it. You're on the one yard line. What the picker, anyway? It's 29, right? Uh, I think it was Baxter Jennings. The first one was seven. The second by one seven. was 18. Uh, number 18, crew Monaco. Okay, so what I think. intercepts the ball, you get on the one yard line. Are you just looking to give yourself a little bit of space there? I mean, what's we're just the looking point? to get we're looking to get down the field, put some more points on the board. That's our goal. We just put a lot of points on the board, no matter how that is. Work hard, get points on the board. That's it. So you don't expect to score when you're on your own one yard line. No. What happens when you get the ball in the flat there? Are you just looking for your blockers at that point? Yeah, I mean, number three, Ryan Kamal set up a great block for me. I just got by the first guy and just took off, made a good cut. That's it. You now, did you get bumped early play. though. You got bumped early yeah, the, right yeah, away. That guy off. Yeah. Did you? Did you get spun? Was that it? Did you get spun a little bit? I'm trying to remember, like when you kind no, of went right the to guy, The guy came here and I kind of just like pushed him off, like just kept running, keep moving my feet. Now, were you aware of the guy that was on your ass? Or your uh, I, should say? I saw the guy coming from my left, like kind of my peripheral, and I don't know. You made that little cut yeah. to the left? Yeah. When you cross the end zone, I mean, what's that like? Like, I'm so tired. Oh my God, I can't believe I did this. Or... No, yeah, you're definitely tired after a big run like that, but you know, I'm just looking forward to next plays, keep moving on in the game, you know. Defense is, I love defense, so, you know, that's that's big too. Just get points on the board, let Greg the leg kick that extra point and get mm -hmm. back on defense. Sam, I know uh, coaches has to have been hopping to you guys about playing a complete football game. Yeah. Um, you, you're winning, but it's not the way he likes you to play. It's not the way he knows you can play kind of thing. Was tonight finally that game that you got? Uh, I think this week, there is, this is probably the best week of practice we've had all season. We were, we were staying down at the lower field talking to everyone for 15, 20 minutes after every practice, and then just some some flipped. Everyone's attitude changed. Everyone was locked in from the top to the bottom of the roster. Everyone was helping out. Everyone was getting stuff done. And it just all everything came together tonight for a great team run. Was it a diagram that you guys were going to go for that home run ball right on the first play tonight? Or did it just kind of work out where you stuffed them on the fake punt attempt, and then, hey, the play was open there, so let's, not, let's just go for it? I mean... Yeah, I think the pieces just fall into the puzzle themselves.